Okay, class. Um, good morning. Okay. Now, for this week, we are on to our fourth week. Okay, so this is an activity day. So, definitely, this is more of instructional and a pre-recorded demonstration of how you will be dealing with our set A exercises from exercise 4 to 11. Okay, so you're done with your exercise number 3 and exercise number 2 from last week wherein we, we did have our modify and draw tools and then you executed also geometric shapes using modify and draw tools and at the same time you were able to deliver exercise number 3 um, from your manual reference and uh, encoded it using AutoCAD. Okay, so for this for this week, this is an activity week, we cover exercise set A, uh, exercise 4 to 11, wherein there are available uh, pre-recorded demonstration and instructions on how you will be dealing with the title block, layers and properties, dimension, and conversion of drawing file to PDF. So you just have to follow my uh, shared um, uh, links okay, for your reference. Okay, in order for you to deliver the exercises. Now, for the reference, um, I have uh, made a full, okay, instructional demo for exercise number four, okay, which you can make use as reference on the remaining exercises in terms of how you will be editing the title block, layers and properties, dimension, and uh, conversion to PDF. Now, the objective for this is for you to de deliver the actual um, illustration using a standard uh, set of guidelines that I will be giving you. And by the end of this activity, you can now um, deliver okay, properly and execute uh, illustrations okay, with uh, precision in terms of dimension by applying the proper layers uh, and properties, dimensions, and text. And you can see the relevance or reference when you convert it into PDF. Okay, so moving on with my instructions, okay, so I have here a standard uh, editing format. So this is the step-by-step -step process that you have to follow in order for you to deliver the exercise and the plate, okay, for next week. So we will be having plate number one next week, okay, so please uh, take note, class. Okay, now based on this uh, format guidelines, first you have to, of course, have the reference which is already available, Okay, and then we have, um, once you already have the reference, you illustrate it using the draw and modify tools, okay, and then once you have already uh, uh, came up with the figure, you can do screenshot by hitting F2 and then um, save it muna, okay, and then you proceed with uh, uh, the title block, you try to insert your figure to the title block. Okay, and then you assign layers and properties. Okay, so after assigning layers and properties, uh, you can hit F2 again and do the screenshot. And then proceed with the editing of dimension and text. Okay, and then uh, as you save it, okay, you can actually do the last screenshot, okay, of the existing history commands before you end up your drawing and convert it to PDF. Okay, so these are the basic eight steps okay that i will be showing you okay onto the full demo lecture for exercise number four okay so yung basis natin for the production of all exercises would be uh exercise number four okay so i have prepared a full demo of it which you will be um, um performing later by following it okay while you um preview the demo okay so moving on so this is the sample of a finished output, okay, of each of the exercises. So you have the title block, you have the layers. Now, by the way, the layers are the colored lines represented by each of the, the lines associated with your figure. You have the dimensions, okay, and a complete title block with all your details, okay? So um, what's available is the full demo of this for exercise number four, which you can apply for the succeeding uh, activities on exercise number five to 11. Okay, so this is the sample finished output in drawing file. Okay, now this is a sample naman output with the 
conversion to PDF. So as you can see, the previous is in drawing file. Okay, once you convert this in PDF, this would look like this. Okay, so there's a separate demo instructions also for you to follow how you come up with this uh, type of preview. Okay, you just have to follow the step-by-step -step process that I have prepared for you there. Okay, so moving on along with this, you have the screenshot of the dem. Uh, I mean the, the history commands. Okay, okay, so this is the first um, set of screenshot. This is the second and the third before you save your work. Okay, so another sample layout in doing the screenshot is like this class. Okay, so another uh, way of uh, history command sample is like this. Okay, so you can actually have a preview of your finished output here. Plus, you hit F2 and then this would come up on this side. Okay, and then you can do screenshot of your entire working window together with your activity. Okay, so please take note. You can either do both. Okay, so moving on. So this is the requirements for our uploads. Okay, class. I will only require two uploads for exercise uh, 4 to 11. So there is a separate link for this. Okay, so exercise 4, 5. And if you can finish off with exercise 6 by the end of the day, okay, you may upload it because the link is already available. Okay, so the file extension for the file names are the following. So you have here, you have to upload uh, the drawing file using a file name. Let's start off with a sample uh, surname, exercise number 4.dwg, which is the AutoCAD file. And then exercise number 4, a PDF file, okay, plus the history command and the photos of your work progress, including your selfie photo, at least one on your workstation, okay. Compile it. As PDF okay and have a file extension name starting with your surname exercise number four dot PDF okay so please take note now links are already up, uh, uploaded and available so um, you can actually um, uh, start off with the activity later on after the uh, this instructions and after you preview all my uh, uh, demonstration or pre-recorded demo prepared for you, okay? So next, uh, setting up layers and properties. So this is just a guide, a quick guide of uh, the list of the layers that you are going to use in relation to the demo that I will be uh, showing you or the pre-recorded demo available there on your week 4 uh, folder, okay? So the command would be DDL modes. You set up the layers here. On the right, based on the instructions that uh, I have on the pre-recorded demo, you just have to follow it. Okay, so we have the layer name, dimension, color is gray number 8, line type is continuous. And then we have L1 for line 1, we use red, and then line type is continuous. Okay, uh, L3, okay, green, continuous, and then we have L4, cyan, continuous, and then we have hatch, gray number 8, continues and then we have hidden gray number eight and then hidden two would be the line type and then for center gray number eight center two would be the line type okay so this um uh, this uh, layers will has uh, has a diagram given on how to prepare and preload this onto our uh, demo on layers and properties okay so moving on okay um, as you can see, these are the color and pen assignment that we associate to the color assigned per layer. We're in, okay, like for example, L1, we assigned red. It is equivalent to 0.1. L2, which is yellow, okay, equivalent to 0.2 pen assignment. Green, which is L3, equivalent to 0.3 pen assignment. Cyan, equivalent to 0.4 pen assignment. And then magenta is 0.5, okay. Gray number 8 and gray number 9 is 0 0.05. Okay, so since I have already shared with you the title block also, there is already a default if you would notice your title block is in a colored format. Okay, so we already have the uh, preloaded, okay, uh, layers, okay, that you can find on your title block. Wherein we have the following text 1, which is yellow. The height is 0 0.18, which is standard. Text 2, green, height is 0 0.25, which is standard also. Text 3, 0 0.35, okay. 
or 0.40. This is cyan. Okay, and then text for you have magenta. Okay, 0.5 for the title. Okay, so in order for you to be familiar with this, I'll go back to this one. Okay, so as you can see, we already have the pre-recorded uh, or pre-loaded layers are the following. So this is text one. Okay, the uh, magenta. This is text uh, four, which is cyan. This is text one, which is yellow. This is text two, which is uh, green. Okay, and then we have layers one, this one, layer three. And layer 1. We don't have any layer number 2 here for the assignment. Okay? And then we have the layer dimension. Okay? So please take note. So let's move again on the succeeding slides. Okay? So we all, I also have a separate demo for the dimensions and text that you can follow. Okay? So just follow how to do dimensions and text. And then moving on with this, we have now the, the references for our exercise 4.2. 11 okay so starting off with exercise number four we have the figure okay so units is in centimeter please take note okay and then moving on we have exercise number five okay as you can see possible command would be command polygon command circle trim and then command line okay so please take note now for exercise number six we have this okay so we only have the area 8 by 8, okay? Disregard this at the bottom, yung mga numbers na yan. This is just a starting point of the previous uh, work area for this drawing, okay? So, and then, um, the command that you're going to use here, you can make use of command rectangle, and then you can make use of command circle, okay? All the center point of the circle would be located in these four points. And then you trim. Okay, so please take note. And then next, moving on, we have exercise number 7. You can start off with uh, command line at distance angle, okay, going round, okay. As you completed from this point, finishing off on uh, the outer, on this point, okay, you can perform P-edit, okay, and then you can offset, okay. So, and then uh, following the dimensions, you can come up with this illustration, okay. So, moving on, this is exercise number 8, okay? So, as you can see, these are overlapping circles. Again, disregard this reference measurements on starting points and concentrate on the end, mid, and end sections of your line, okay? Wherein, you need to perform com command line, okay? As you can see, this is 6, no? Command line at distance 6, angle 0. And then from there, that would be the center mark of all your overlapping circles given the radius and diameter okay so please take note next you have exercise number nine so we have here uh, circles again okay so you use modify and draw tools okay you start off with this uh, medium size circle on center followed by this circle okay so the the sizes would be diameter four and radius three okay and then followed by this one, these two sets of circle. And then um, next command, you can make use of array. Okay, so you can uh, actually review from the week number three demo that I have shared with you with regards to the modify tools array. Okay, so please take note. And then next, we have exercise number 10. So you have all the reference dimensions given. Okay, you just have to plot it using modify and... Um, uh, modify and draw tools, okay? And then you can combine, okay, parts that are needed to be one, okay, using p-edit, so please take note. And then lastly, this is exercise number 11, okay? Combining everything from the draw and modify tools. And then I have a separate demo for the hatch, which you can follow later on, okay? So, um... At the end of this um, activity, okay, should you complete this up until next week of our meeting, okay, um, end of day actually next week because we will be having plate number one next week, okay, so you are ready to perform plate number one, okay. So for the meantime, as you preview this, okay, I will um, 
I will be asking you to start off with uh, the first set of instructions including the detailed and the full demo of exercise number four. And then I am I am logged here on Blackboard. Okay, I am logged here on Blackboard for your inquiries and questions so that I can assist you with uh, some of the areas wherein um, it confuses you when it comes to the reference demo that I have shared with you. Okay, class? So, for the meantime, start um, previewing, okay? Starting off with the demo on how to copy and paste clipboard and then followed by how to assign or how to preload layers and properties and then you start off with a full demo for exercise number four, okay? And then followed by how to do dimensions and then how to convert the PDF. Okay, class? So, I will be here lang to assist you, okay? So, I will be logged here on Blackboard to assist you. Okay, so we might proceed, class, and then I'll just wait for your um, questions and inquiries, okay? You may start now.